Yeah, this year, I don't think the city had a lot of room to make many cuts. Uh, there was already a reduction in the tax rate. Obviously, the increase in, in property valuations offset that, but it's a difficult time coming out of the pandemic uh, to find more areas to cut when we're already on uh, limited hours for libraries and rec centers and, and uh, short-staffed. We're already kind of at a maximum of what we're able to cut out of the budget, so it was a difficult time. So the city manager has a contract now until 2029. Um, I think that contract is exceptionally well compensated. Uh, and so I, I wouldn't support any other further changes before the expiration of, of his contract. Um, you know, I think that Tommy Gonzalez does a good job as city manager. Uh, I think it's important that we have a city manager form of government, uh, but I wouldn't want to make any other additions to the contract before his current one expires. I don't know that I can totally do the math on how many city council meetings I've been to. It's a lot. I've worked there for more than five years, so definitely upward of 100, maybe close to 200 city council meetings that I've attended uh, before deciding to, to run for office. The city has an obligation, I think, to deliver uh, some sort of multi-purpose performing arts and entertainment facility like the voters voted for in 2012. I think now, 10 years later, we really have to re-examine the scale of what that project is. Uh, I think it, looking at the context of it now, uh, the, the funds that were approved are going to fund a much smaller facility. Uh, I would also be open to potentially changing the location if the taxpayers could be made whole for the properties that the city's already purchased. I left El Paso and chose to move back. I think it's a much more attractive place to be than it used to be uh, for young people, but the city can do a lot more uh, in promoting educational opportunities, uh, attracting good jobs, be that through bringing in companies from outside of El Paso uh, or supporting the, the growth of our homegrown local businesses here in El Paso uh, and making sure that families uh, have things to do, opportunities for children.